Welcome back. In this video, I will show you how we can deploy our app and uh, make it available on Heroku. So to do this, we'll have to add three additional files in our projects. The first, the first file will be the list of requirements. So we'll call it requirements.txt and we'll have to put streamlet inside and then pandas. The second file that we'll have to add is called the proc file and we can copy paste it from the playground project I've already deployed. So the proc file is here and then we'll have to add the setup.sh file. So the proc file will tell Heroku the command to run to make our uh, app available. So let's do this. Okay, so it's called proc file, copy paste this, and then add the setup sh file. Okay, so the setup sh, and then we'll put everything what you need here, and that's all. Um, before deploying to Heroku, we must put our app inside a GitHub project. So let's do this. I, let's go to GitHub. So let's create a repo, for example, Streamlit Tutorial. Okay, let's make it public. Once you create your folder, you'll have to, uh, you'll have to link your project to this uh, to this, to this folder, basically. So I will put this uh, link here. Okay. So now I'm inside my project. Yeah, actually I have to init a, a git project. So git init. And then I'll have to add the git remote add. Okay. I'll have to change this. Then I'll have to change some config, but you don't have to do this. Uh, put my email and then, because I have two accounts on this computer and that's all. Okay, so now if I have a look at git status, so I want, I will add a git ignore just to make things clean, git ignore. I will ignore the VS Code folder. Uh, and then I will also ignore uh, the, the data folder because I won't be needing it. And then that will be all. Yeah, I will also ignore the DS store which I will remove, by the way, and then, okay. So let's add everything, commit, okay, first commit, uh, and then push, okay. So now if we check GitHub, we'll see that we've got everything here. Now, to make this app available to Heroku, we'll have to create a, an account or a Heroku. It's very easy and it's also free. And once you create a app, uh, create an account, sorry, you'll have to go to this link, uh, dashboard.heroku.com slash apps, and then you'll have to create a new app. So I'm, I'm going to call it Streamlit Tutorial. Uh, Ahmed. Okay, this this name sucks, but it's available. So I'm gonna choose a region and then create the app. And then they will ask you about a login. Uh, okay, they will ask you about the deployment method. And to do this, I'm gonna connect to GitHub, and then I will call the Streamlit tutorial name 
tutorial. Okay, so it detects my repo and then you'll have to connect. I will choose the main branch to deploy. Let's check if it's the same. Okay. Deploy branch. Okay, now uh, Heroku is building the app and building the container that will hold our app in production. So this may take uh, a moment. So let's wait for it. Okay, uh, our app looks like it's deployed now. Uh, this took around five minutes. And finally, we can see that we've provided with a beautiful uh, URL. Let's try it out. Okay. Yeah, it looks perfect. We've, we've got everything uh, deployed. And now we can share this up with our friends, colleague or client. Uh, and you can see it's very easy. In our project, we had small dependencies, but if you have other dependencies, if you've got, for example, scikit-learn or torch or TensorFlow inside your app, you can list these dependencies and your app will be deployed as well. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this series, video series was useful for you to get started uh, playing with Streamlit. If you want to learn more about Streamlit, you can check the documentation. But what I encourage you to do is start a project. That's that's why that's how I personally uh, learned uh, to use Streamlit. So if you've got an idea, you can try it out directly and quickly with Streamlit, and you can get inspired by the user, the community gallery as well. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this channel, this content, don't hesitate to subscribe, to share this video and hit the, sub the like button. Thank you and see you in next videos.